Hello, and today we're going to show you how to put together the sailor hat SVG file from Simply Crafty SVGs. Um, first, we want to fold all these hat top part of the hat, the middle hat pieces, and then um, you can see I'm folding them on the score lines and folding them on the tabs, and then we continue to do so with every piece. There's eight of them, so I did uh, speed this up a little bit. And you see on the middle piece, there's that piece. I'm kind of curving it a little bit in that larger area. Just kind of curling it with my hands to, to curl it over right there. So it's the same process for all these pieces. So that's why we don't want to bore you for, with having you watch them um, in real time. And then once you get those all done, we'll start assembling them. We have this last piece. So now we're going to take the first piece and add glue to, you could do all tabs or just the first two tabs. So I'm going to show you the method with just the two tabs so you can anchor those top tabs. I would recommend starting from the top to the bottom. You want to match up that top tip of that right edge to the tab fold and then you'll continue to the next tab. And you're just kind of making sure that that um, right edge lines up with the tab fold. And then for this one, since I didn't add glue to all the tabs, we're going to add glue with our fine tip applicator for the last three tabs. If you do have a little glue leakage um, on this part, it's okay because we do have ta um, panels that go over that. But you can see I'm just matching them up. And to make sure you match them up, you can always uh, kind of rub your finger around on the edge to, to make sure that the one edge is not too raised. But it doesn't really, if it's not perfect, it'll still look okay. So for this one, I'm going to add glue to all the tabs. If you don't feel you're fast enough, like I did, do have fast drying glue, and if you're not fast enough, it might dry before you get to the last tab. But once you get the hang of it, it gets easier. The biggest part is lining up that first tab first making sure that tips lined up to the top piece. And as you go down, just making sure that you're lining, you can see in my left thumb, I'm just making sure that it's lined up properly and that that's, that edge is not um, raised up too much. There's dogs barking in the background. I apologize. It's the nature of having three dogs. So now we're just gonna continue with the same steps. So this is sped up a little bit, and there are eight panels. Like I said, take your time. If, if you're used to this, this is not a big deal. The reason I, sometimes I make the, the patterns curved, a little bit more curved, but when you make them with a little, a lot more scores, it makes it easier for you to put things together. And when we add the panels, the panels will be solid. So it'll look like a rounded piece once we get those uh, last panels on. So you can go ahead and continue watching this and I'll be back uh, when we get to the part to close it up.
Okay, now we're to the last piece, and um, with this one you can kind of bend it in, bend the tabs inward, like shown. Then you can kind of go inside and you can see it splits apart. You can put your, you can make sure that it's towards you so you can add glue easier. And we're going to add glue to all the tabs. But what we're going to do is we're going to glue the top tab and the bottom tabs first. So carefully, it just makes it easier to line up the rest of the tabs. So you're just going to line up that first tab, that edge to the tab fold there. And it, and it takes a that's a little tricky this one. And it could get it a little bit off, but remember it's not going to change the whole look of the project. And then we'll do that bottom one, line that up. And then once you have those set in place, you can carefully go up and make sure that the rest of them are lined up and apply pressure. That's the easiest way I found to do it. Um, but I mean, if you feel like you can do it from up to down, I mean, from the top to the bottom easily, it's just that with little hands, it makes it difficult. So now we're going to add the panels. So for these, we want to kind of curl them a little bit here and they'll just be attached like this from top to bottom. But to get it prepped, I, you can do curl them individually as you put them on, but I like to curl them all first. So you're just kind of curling them with your hands a little bit, just rubbing them, it's like a burnishing, um, just to get them, you know, what's nice with paper that it, it actually is pliable. I'm not really, um, you know, you can use a tool. Some people do use tools, but I tend to use my hands as much as possible. It's the cheapest tool I have. So what I suggest, uh, and this is the first one, not showing that, but putting glue at the top and bottom mostly, because the sides it won't adhere. So you're going to line it up with one of the sections there on the top first, and then just slide your fingers down and apply pressure at the bottom. You want to make sure you apply your pressure down so you don't have any bubbles. And we'll do this for all eight of them. They won't torture you with all eight um, because it is the same process. But again, I'm showing you here, you could just add glue to the top and bottom. Sometimes when I'm doing a video, I forget that that's the better way to do it. So could have edited it out, but I did not. So you see it's getting, giving it a round look. And you don't have to use white. I put a different color in the file because some people might want to use a pattern paper. I wanted a pure uh, white sailor cap, um, and that was my preference for this project. But you can make them blue, you could put a, a, a pattern paper, anything like that. So we're going to jump ahead. So after you get all these panels on, and this is shown with all the panels, we're going to add the edges. So for this one, just make sure you score everything as shown. It's going to go around the edge like this, kind of. We're going to put those two pieces together first. But to prep the pieces, we want to fold the tabs on the scores, score lines. Then you kind of want to give curl it a little bit because it's going to help you adhere it. And before you attach it to the actual middle of the hat, we want to attach these two pieces with that side, the side tabs. So we're going to line up that edge to the tab fold. And then carefully do so on the other side as well. So I just kind of folded it over gently without putting a fold in it and lined up the last edge to that tab fold making sure it's centered on the top and bottom there. I'm going to make that the side of the hat. Where, I mean you can put, put the front but uh, as we put the panels I'm just going to fold those in because those are just going to glue to the inside portion. See how it's going to fit right there. I'm using a textured paper so the texture is on the outside. Um, it's really unnecessary uh, if you have a, another panel you're going to put on, but if you choose not to use the panels, you could just 
after you put this on. You see I'm just attaching one tab. Just want to make sure that that middle edge is lined up with the the appropriate section and in the tab fold. I'm going to do the opposite edge. And what I was trying to tell you is that you, you could choose to just keep it as is and not put the white panels on, but we'll get to that in a minute. And I'm kind of lifting my, putting my fingers in on the top to apply pressure on the tab with my fingertips on the other side. You do want to make sure that that inside tab fold is is depressed all the way to the edge edge of the inner piece. So then I'm going to do the three tabs on the other side. So once I have a tab on each side, it kind of anchors it, and then it'll be easier to glue the remaining tabs. It's at a weird angle, so you want to hold it a little bit longer than you normally would and applying pressure from the other side with your fingertips, just holding them in there. It feels awkward at first, but it gets easier after a couple tabs. If in doubt, hold it longer. And, and don't drop it. My hands are small, so it's hard to hold on to that, the top of the hat. And sometimes you just, like this one, I couldn't get the right angle on that one. So I just started with the other tab. And I was going to go back to the tab that I was having trouble with. It's because the hat was slipping out of my hands. And then we'll get that one down. And what I'm doing is just making sure as I put that tab down that it's completely the, the within the fold. I can feel the edge of that inside of piece. So that's it. The form of the hat is done. So you could just feasibly just put that on there if you don't want the panels. I added the panels if somebody wanted to add a different pattern, but I'm going to show you how to put them on. I chose to take the front panel and emboss it with a Darius, it's, it's not Darius, it's Park Lane from Joann's. They came out with this new one and I saw this and I thought, I'm just going to angle it on each side. Then I'll put that little tag in the middle, the, the anchor tab. I only embossed the front piece. So we're going to do the back piece first. And kind of switch it up on you so you can see how it goes on. It does overlap a little bit, so I'm just putting glue on the outside edges and more on the uh, the edges. So you can start and line it up. Make sure it's lined up on the top. The bottom has kind of, it's rounded for the panel, but it's, it's not rounded on the actual box. So you want to make sure that you're aligning the panel on the top as you um, attach it. So you're just kind of going from left to right, and you see it overlaps over that, um, I'm trying to think of the seam, I should see. I'm trying to think of the right word, the paper seam, where the tab was. And we're going to do the same on the front. It's just a slight overlap. So this one I just added the glue a little bit differently because embossed paper, um, sometimes it's harder to get on. So again, I'm aligning it up on the left and then I'm making sure that that panel is aligned on the top. And then applying pressure from left to right. And you just kind of keep on making sure that it's aligned on the top as you pull it around here. And you could use a pattern paper on the front. That would be really cute. But again, I wanted a pure white hat. And these panels are optional if you do have a white hat, if you can use white paper. And then just to put together the tag, I used a little scotch foam tape to pop up that front piece here. I had already attached the anchor, or glued the anchor. It'd be cute with a little twine through the top of that anchor. I just didn't add it. Then however you want. I want it raised a little bit. Just tack that on and that completes the hat. And if you only wanted to make the hat, um, that's where you could stop. I did add a 
box piece on the bottom if somebody wanted to give that as a gift. So we're going to put together the, the box is really simple. It's just an eight sided box. So we're just going to fold on all the score lines. Again, if you just want to give the hat, then you don't have to do this part. I just always like an option to, if somebody wants to make a gift out of it. My handy dandy wet paper towel. And then this, you can just, you can't really see it, but there's a little tab there. And you're just going to fold it over and line up the other edge to glue these, these pieces together. Make sure it's good and secure before you do the next thing. You're just going to fold up the tabs on the bottom and add glue to the inside. What we're going to do is put the panel, glue the panel inside. And I'm using a uh, textured paper, so to make it easier, I'll put the texture up for the inside piece. You just want to line up e each of the edges, make sure it's situated properly there. Line up each of the edges to the inside fold of each of the tabs and then apply pressure. And and uh, we'll just add that last panel to, to cover the tabs on the bottom. That's how it fit. It's, it's a loose fit so if you want it, it's not perfect. It's just meant to be like a gift thing so if you wanted to hand it to somebody you want to be careful because the the hat will come off. You could always just tie a, a ribbon or twine around it to uh, keep it together. I would actually do like a larger ribbon. It's due to the shape of the top hat. Then we're just going to line up that bottom panel. And I always kind of uh, get it in place first and then um, rub the edges. I don't, don't have it lined up here. And then once I rub the edges on the bottom, just lightly, just rubbing the tabs, um, I just flip it over and apply pressure from within. This will basically finish the box portion. Um, then you can just line it up. And if you want to add a little gift or just do the hat by itself. I had fun. I had a uh, somebody who just went into the Navy that I was thinking of when I made this. Thank you for watching.